Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video, hope you're all doing well. So it is the start of the holiday prep today, um, I'm just about to go for my nails done which if you've watched the last video you would have been cringing alongside me because I've never had nails like that for years, like I don't know what's going on with them and I'm actually scared to see my nail tech because she's going to be like what have you done but I genuinely think it's because like I've been a lot of like I've been picking my skin, my hands have been in my mouth quite a lot because I've like I'm quite a nervous person and like there's been a lot going on. But anyways, I don't know what she's gonna do. She always pulls it off, so whatever she does, that's great. Also get my toes done. The last time I got my toes done was for a beefa. So I'm not even gonna show you what they look like because they're literally like curling over, they're disgusting. I'm not gonna leave it this long again because my two big toes have like snapped a little bit and obviously they're really long and I it's not attractive, so I'm gonna book in every six weeks, I think, maybe. Also, I'm actually sweating in this car to get the windows down. But I am a little bit early. I'm mm, maybe 15 minutes early, and I really would like an iced coffee. So let's just have a little look. I'm really laughing at me saying I'm really trying to save money, but then I'm getting an iced coffee on my way to an appointment. But I just think I need to treat myself. Maybe I'll go to the drive through for Costa. Maybe I'll collect it so it's quick. Let me decide and then we'll go to the nail appointment and I'll show you them because I'm really not living for these and I'm so glad this is the first appointment. So we've only got two today. Got my nails done, but I'm getting both of them done. So it's gonna be like at least two hours. And then I've got my eyelashes getting done. I'm getting them curled. Is that what it's called? A lift, lash lift. And I'm also getting my eyebrows laminated, which is actually scaring us because I never do my eyebrows like never ever does anything go on them like i tint them but that's about it like i have no products so this is going to look like i've had them done like they're going to be very like defined very in place so hopefully i like them but we'll see just trying something new it might make us feel a little bit more put together but anyways i'm going to be late if i keep talking so i'm going to go see if i can get a coffee from somewhere and then i shall go to the nail appointment and you can come with us for all of my appointments and we're going to go through all the packing the prep everything like that so i hope you do enjoy and let's just get on with it sorted the time that it took us to decide where to go i could have literally been there and back but we have got it i'm like racing back to the car oh quick taste test before i start drive because i went for something different i went for a caramel macchiato because i feel like i just couldn't be bothered to sit and think about what uh like syrups and that are getting it i thought i'm just easier i just pick them one this looks stunning like this looks like the perfect colour for me like I don't really like things that's too milky oh wow this always reminds us of Reese because he always gets these but oh that's lovely nice and coffee, like strong coffee as well like I actually like the taste of coffee so mm. stunning very happy with that choice that might be my new like favourite but I'm gonna see how long it's gonna take us to get to the place it's only got 18 minutes till my appointment i don't think i'm 18 minutes away so let's go sort these nails out whoa she's back and she's got eyebrows um so i'm sorry i didn't get a video of the process of getting my eyebrows done and my eyelashes because I went in and i didn't really feel like getting my camera out and obviously i've got my eyes shut the full time but my back skills have been lying there for like what time is it now god it's been well over an hour and a half but i'll do a little close-up because my eyebrows are obviously quite intense and i get that but obviously they are gonna fade but the shape of them in like the the way they look i absolutely love if i slowly zoom you in you just can see them close up and obviously look at my eyelashes so i had an eyelash lift and i'm not being funny how good is that I just can't get over the eyelash lift. Like, how long do my eyelashes look? But I'm really, really happy. I look really pale. I'm hoping that once I get a bit of a tan, it'll look a little bit better. But overall, I'm over the moon. I just think they look so nice in the will fade because obviously, over time, the will. Love them so, so much. Shout out to BWA Cosmetics. I think that's what she's called. I'll show you that profile. That is her. So, if you're in the Newcastle area, get your eyebrows done by her because she's absolutely incredible but it's now 10 to 4 what time did i get there 10 past 2 right well i'm gonna have to get on the road because i'm actually scared i'm gonna be stuck in all the traffic but i haven't had anything to eat and i'm starved so i'm gonna drive home and to be honest that's all for a day i'm not gonna do any more holiday prep because i'm 
going to do packing, tidying, like everything else is tomorrow. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow as well. But that is all for a day. But I'm just obsessed with my eyebrows and my eyelashes. Might not be everyone's cup of tea, the thickness of them. And it is obviously a big jump from what they were because I usually don't do anything. But really, this is how I want my face to look. I literally don't even look like me. But it's the eyelashes for me, like how they're that nice. Right, I'll speak to you tomorrow and anyways. I'm just going to drive home and eat. I'm literally out of breath. I've only been in the garage to get the um, suitcases out. But it was a bit of a workout trying to get them in the rain. But I popped a towel on the bed. And I'm going to pack my suitcase. So I do need a new suitcase. I was just looking at this one thinking it looks a little bit manky. I've had this one for like four years now. Let's get packing. So I'll move my camera so you can see a little bit better. This is what we're dealing with. So I'm going to go through and do my clothes first. I've got these packing cubes that I got a few years ago, which are really good. But I'm going to try and do like, so I'm going to put that one for my underwear with being the smaller one. I think maybe like tops, tops in that, maybe bikinis, bottoms, what else have I got, cover-ups and evening, maybe. Let's just see how we get on with that. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay all them clothes out and put them in daytime, nighttime kind of order and then I can go through it from there and then I'll start putting outfits together and then matching accessories in what I'm going to bring because I've got all of my accessories over here on the table ready to just pick out what I want to take with what so I don't overpack basically but I'm going to quickly pop them out and then I can start packing the hair has had to go up because it's absolutely sweating he's not chucking it down a rain outside like this is hard work where to start I think I might do evening first because there's a lot of daytime going on so I'm going to use the biggest one and just start gradually putting bits in so i got this skirt from sheen this is like the viral zara one it's like the raw bar skirt but i'm literally just going to pair it with a black vest top tried this on the other day and it was really nice on and then i'm going to put those with some sliders and my louboutin bag got all the bags and shoes on the floor so i just think those will go really well with it this dress which i wore a few years ago i actually got this tailored because it was too long but I think that this is quite a sweet, like just a, a cash chucky on dress. Not cash, it's still really nice, but just, do you know what I mean? Like it's just one of those easy kind of dresses that you'll just chuck on. Really love that. And I think I'll probably wear the same shoes and bag. Yeah, or maybe even the flip flops because they're orange and that matches that. So just whatever. I know I'm going to be packing them. So once I'm there, I can just decide what I'm going to wear. I got this play suit from Boohoo a few weeks ago. Let's see if I can zip it up and show you. I'm sure this was like less than £10 as well. So just thought might as well but it's like a high neck sleeveless play suit I like the pattern of it it's got like a, a rope that ties around your waist this is really flattering on me it's got this orange bag I think I'll take that with it as well got this which is like a is it a police police material um play suit i love this color as well but i just think again really comfy flattering stretchy material and uh, the only thing with this is i do need to put in a bra but i'll do that afterwards i need like a strapless bra and then i also need to put some pins in so i can pin it because it's a little bit too low cut for me but i do really, really like that so that will be going in this one again i got this on boohoo which is a really like it was a bargain i'm sure this was about nine pound but it's like a maxi dress, but then it stops as a mini and then it's like mesh at the bottom. I do need to come close, I'll show you these things. But I just love all of the colours. And then I've just realised I bought these earrings ages ago with the intentions of wearing it with a purple play suit. But is that not literally just exactly the same in an earring? Iridescent earrings. They've got orange, green, purple. I just think they work so well. So it's a good little matchy moment but i'm gonna take that i think i'll have to wear this on my first night though because it's definitely the tightest dress i'm taking so i need to make sure i wear that straight away so i don't feel bloated because this is the first all-inclusive that we're doing together well no actually we went on a family all-inclusive when we first got together um but that was about five years ago so yeah this is the first time that we're going on together then i've got this which i bought in matalan last week if you watched the vlog you would have seen this that was only 11 pound as well 
Mala had a really good sale on as well at the minute. I've got some chunky black sliders that I'm going to wear with that. Because I feel like I could wear the brown actually, but I just think I'll be having the brown one on every single night at this rate. So I've got these, which I've wore quite a few times actually. Got these from Primark a few years ago. Right, what next? A few of them, I've got them still in the wrappers. So I might just leave them in there and then just put them in. But this is one of my evening dresses and it's the smock dress off of boohoo if anyone remembers last year it going quite viral there was a girl that posted it and just sold it out within like a day it's got like the loose fitted sleeves and then it ties at the neck if i can find photos of these i will insert them because i don't think i'm describing it very well but this would need a belt because it's got no shape to it it does just look like a poncho but i've got a gold belt that i'm going to wear it with so it kind of ruffles it up a little bit but as you can see it's got absolutely no shape but by the time you put the belt on it does look really nice so i'm going to keep that in its packaging just i don't know why i've kept it in the packaging but i have um i've also got this dress that i've kept in the packet but this is because it's white and i don't want to get anything on it but it's this maxi dress from pretty little thing but i've put a sheen slip underneath it because it was so sheer so i've kind of kept them together so you can get the gist but this is the white maxi dress. I can't even show you, it's too long. But Uma had this on on Love Island the other night and she looked phenomenal, like absolutely incredible. So hopefully I look like her, but probably not. But I just think with a tan, that'll be so nice. But like, if you can see like that's how sheer it is usually. So I've had to put this other dress underneath, but I really am looking forward to wearing this on hauls. Got this woven clutch bag, which I think will look quite nice with it. And these sliders, which are from Sheen little Hermes dupes and then as a backup option I've also got this top that I got from Boohoo a few but probably a year ago now I still haven't had it on but it is really nice but it's just a white cropped top with the rose on the shoulder and the rose on the side but I was thinking of pairing that with these denim shorts which I'm already taking so I just thought just as like a backup outfit I've also got an outfit on the way that I've been waiting to get back in stock just this outfit just think the pattern's really nice like i feel like it looks like more than boohoo do you know what i mean but it's like a police material again so it's like very like flattering on and stretchy i just thought that would be nice with the red bag so i'll be packing that as well if it fits so i can put that in as well but i think all in all i've got nine outfits which is exactly what i need so i've got swimwear now so i've got quite a lot of bikinis and stuff i've kind of accumulated over the past few months so this one's one that i haven't bought new this one's from Primark, but it's like a beigey cream swimming costume. I just thought I've got bikinis, but I also want to take a few swimming costumes just in case I'm not feeling 100%. So I'm going to put all of my bikini ones in here, and then I think this one can have the cover ups in with them being a bit thicker. But I'm going to wear that with this dress from Sheen a few years ago. It's like a mini knitted dress. Also, I am going to leave everything linked. I've already started like making the list because there is so much but if there isn't anything down below it might be that they're sold out or they are old or it is off Primark which you can't link but I will try my best and if there's anything that you want to know where anything's from that I have missed just messages on Instagram or comment down below and I can let you know but yeah so this was from a few years ago so I don't think that they'll have this one anymore but they will absolutely have similar items but this is really nice and it ties at the back so you can tighten it to however tight you need it to be then we have this bikini which is from boohoo i love this crinkle material they've got like a range where they do so many different styles of bottoms so they'll do like a thong a standard one and then they'll do high-waisted they'll do swimming costumes so it really does fit every single person in what they would like so this one's like a lime green crinkle bikini bottom and then i've bought the top in this crop top like thick strapped style which is different for me which I'm nervous about but we'll try and try and be overcome with you as this holiday so i'm gonna put that in and then i've got this dress that i bought from sheen which i wasn't originally gonna wear during the day but i think this matches so well but it's this like maxi is this an aztec print this reminds me of like an aztec print but i just thought that looked really nice with it because of the lime and then the lime in here and i'm gonna put my flip-flops with that I've got these orange ones these will literally go with everything like there's even like some evening outfits that i know for a fact i'll wear these with so i'll tie those in as well and we've got this khaki bikini from primark which is high-waisted 
and the top which is like an underwired bra so this will give a lot of support i'm sure that this was from a range which was for like bigger busty girls i'm sure it was that's where i picked it up from but i really really like this nice and i'm going to wear that with the denim shorts that i'd shown before and then i'm going to put it with this white shirt just think open with the khaki and the denim i think that'll be really quite nice this is from boohoo but i am going to wear this a few times because you literally cannot go wrong with like a white linen shirt like i could wear this every single day with every single bikini and it wouldn't like not match anything because it's just such a basic must have but i've got that which i'm going to wear with this white bikini also so this again is from that crinkle range but for some reason oh maybe it's because they're a 12 or these are 12 i have a feeling oh see right i tried these white bottoms on the other day and i thought these feel really tight no bloody wonder because they're a size 12 so i have bought a white swimming costume from boohoo which is coming tonight with that other thing hopefully that fits because then i don't really need to take this because i just know that i'll feel very insecure so i might leave this one out for now but whichever one comes i will be wearing it with these linen trousers from primark again must have a staple just think you can't go wrong with a linen trouser and then i'll also be wearing that shirt over the top open so like an all white look just given bride then got this one this polka dot bikini this is my mum's actually she's never had it on i was looking through the holiday box the other day and i seen it and i was like "Ooh, i like that so it's now in my bag high-waisted bottoms these look a little bit bigger yeah these are a size bigger than usual but again i just want to be comfy and if they're high-waisted that's absolutely fine by me like that that's really nice and i've tried that on with these shorts and again it just looks so nice and i think the white sliders with this and maybe even i could use this as my beach bag that day you know what i mean with the red who knows we'll see but these shorts from boohoo which i went on about so many times these linen shorts i'd definitely link these down below i really, really like these so i've got them in black as well but they just go with everything so i'm gonna wear those with that bikini oh also whilst i'm on the topic of that one of the nights um, I have a sit down, have a little five minute break, please all. On Wednesday, when we get there, England are playing in the semi final of the Euros. So if they win, we will be in the final on Sunday. So Reese has given us orders that I need to pack my England top just in case. So if I do wear this, hopefully, I'll be wearing it with them white shorts. Because I just think white, white, patriotic. Um, I need to stop for a breath. But yeah, so I'm going to pack this as well and just hope for the best. got this bikini off of Sheen, which I really like this pattern. It's got the semi-high waist, but it's got this tie around the front, which I think was quite nice. And then looking at the bikini top, I can't work out how to wear it, but I do know that it somehow wraps around your neck. Or is that the back? I don't know how it works. I have tried it on, and I know how it works. It like kind of crosses over your neck and it makes your boobies look nice. But looking at it right now, I have no idea how to put it on. I'm sure that that all right no i've got it so that goes around your back so that those cups are there and then you must wrap that up yeah that's how it works it just doesn't look the most straightforward off probably wear that with a denim shorts or something like that i've got plenty cover-ups that i can just hoi on with it black bikini from sheen i bought these and i know i'm saying sheen 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 i know it's not the best but Unfortunately, it's the world of love and we can't afford to buy the best of the best. So anyways, I got this one, which is again high-waisted. And the bikini top has got like this thicker strap with like a metal detailing there. And I find that when I've had this on, it's so much more support than a normal regular, you know, like the string bikinis. This just gives so much more support. So I actually got that in black and I got it in a red, which I'll show you in a sec. But I'm going to pack the black one and I know I'll have this on probably multiple times and to go with that i bought this from boohoo which i love i love these styles of dresses but it's a beach cover-up i got that inside out yep so it's just a plain cover-up but then it's got why are they around the front it's got a, a tie around the front so it gives you that illusion of a, a little waist i don't know if you can see that very well with it being black but it's got if you can see that like a sarong but it's a dress i'm going to get so much wear out of that over the years like i will keep that forever until it's fallen off my body like i said i got the red bikini as well it's off of boohoo which 
is my favourite. Like, I've seen this and I was like, I need to get it. I'm trying not to spend, but I really need to get it. So it's got purple and red, which I think works so well. I don't know why it looks really long, because when it's on, it's a mini dress. It's a long sleeve, low back cover up. I just think it's so nice. I just think the pattern's gorge. But I can't wait to wear this, and I'm definitely getting a photo in that. I think we're doing all right, actually, for space. I mean, this bikini one literally looks like it's going to burst at the seams, but I think we can fit one more bikini in there, I'm sure. Because I'm only going to take one more, um, which is this yellow one, which I wore in Ibiza, and I felt so good in it, so I'm going to take this one as well. And the top, which is the bandeau style, which is very good for Sunday, then. Let's see if I can get this close. You know, it's literally bursting at the seams. I think we've done it. Amazing. There you go. All fits in there, which is ideal. And then I'll slide that. Perfect. You see how well that fit? Amazing. And then I'm just going to take a few things that I can just chuck on in the morning that I know I'm going to feel okay in because, like, not every morning I'm going to want to put on a bikini and like a pair of denim shorts because when I go for breakfast, I might just want to go down and go back to the room and get sorted. So, I thought I'd come prepared and take a few bits. So I've got them linen shorts that I've just shown in white. I've got them in the black. So I'll just hide those on in the mornings if I wanted to. And then I've got two t-shirts, like oversized t-shirts. This one from Pretty Little Thing. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but Risa's taken an iron because I don't really iron. He is obsessed with ironing like obsessed eat irons everything i've got this one from primark which is one of my all-time faves i just think even like if i'm getting ready or something all right you just want to hoist it on comfy this one perfect all done um right looking positive just realized that i've not shown any bags or shoes with anything really i like kind of got carried away when i was doing my evening outfits but i bought this from sheen which I think we'll go with majority of my outfits. I think a gold bag, you just can't go wrong with clutch. It'll go with everything. And then I also have the red bag, which I know will go with a lot of things. I know I showed this before for the beach cover up, but I'm sure I've got a few other dresses that I think that would go quite nice with. Again, so just chuck that in. As for shoes, I'm gonna take these as well, these Nike sliders, because I forgot that I even had these and then I put them on yesterday and they're so comfy and I just thought flip flops are comfy but you know what I was saying like when I go down for breakfast and that like I know for a fact I'll be 10 times comfier in these so I'm gonna pop those in as well just as a backup option oh the start of the show got these shoes ages ago and I'm just obsessed these are from Sheen but I know that they're a dupe for a designer but they're like the stone heels i'm not really one for wearing heels on holiday like i am all about the comfort but with that green dress that i showed that was like quite big i think that would go really really nice i'm sure the girl that got them sold out last year wore them shoes with it but i thought one of the nights were there you can book into their restaurant which is like a little bit more like bougie you know like table service it's you know it's more of an experience so i thought i could wear the heels then rather than for the buffy do you know what i mean so i thought i'd just take those if i wear them i wear them if i don't it's not the end of the world but i do absolutely love those heels i'm gonna take this bag but i'm thinking of taking this for the airport maybe because i'm sick right no offense to Reese, no offense to anyone but I am always the one with the big bag. Like, I've always got to carry a big bag around in the airport and he just comes and just brings his, his self. Like, and I'm the one that's got the bag full of food, bag full of waters. And I'm not having it. So I'm going to use this. I say that tomorrow I will go with me bag for life and I'll be there. But I just think, I don't want to carry like a big bag because this is my beach bag. I think this is the one I'm going to take, which I always seem to, to use because it is the, the right size, you know, for everything. But I just don't want to carry it around because it doesn't sit on your shoulder properly. Like, it's comfy, it does. But when it's full, it's like that. It's not comfy. So I think I'm going to try and take this one instead. This one's from H&M, by the way, and I'm sure that it's on sale at the minute. I'll try and find it and link it, but I'm very, very sure that this went on sale. Because I paid 25 for it and I'm sure it's went down at under 20 now. But don't hold us to it, I'll have a little look. 
but I do really like that and it's a big size like it'll fit everything that we really need in there i've had a quick break a bit of lunch because i just felt like i was just going a bit crazy before but i'm gonna pack my jewelry so i've got it all laid out in front of us the bits that i want to take um this is probably a little bit too small not gonna lie but we're gonna see what we can fit in here just to try and keep things a little bit neat yeah like that's actually not gonna fit anything in is it let's try so i'm gonna take these ones which i think are really cute well, those quite a lot to be fair i thought they were nice just some hoops some chunky hoops these ones that i also talked about before these are from primark i really like these i'm not really too sure what these are going to go with but i just know that i will wear them like you know they're going to get worn um what else have we got oh i've got the belt that i was on about the gold belt just like a chain one with the balls on the end i'm just gonna put that in hopefully that fits i've also got this necklace that i wore in crete last year absolutely love this again no idea what i'm gonna wear it with but i just think it's very holiday with all of the creatures shells very cute i've also got these which everyone has starfish earrings pop those in and then i think the last earrings i'm going to take is just some big that's a lie it's not the last pair of earrings the last gold pair of earrings i'm taking are just these gold chunky hoops so the bag is pretty full but i'm sure it'll close amazing so at least it's kind of in order sunglasses wise i'm gonna take three pairs because i don't really wear sunglasses anyways but i've got these ones these ones are from sheen i really like the shape i think that suits me quite well i've got these which are absolutely dirty these ones are from primark i think and then these ones which are from sheen which don't really fit my face but these are like the sunglasses that everyone's gonna be wearing this year so we also have this makeup bag which i'm going to put some more jewelry in just to keep it protected i might also put my hair stuff in there actually I've got quite a few bobbles because you never know how many you're going to need I've got some bobby pins and these hair clips which i think will be quite nice if i wanted to wear my hair down um, i'm also going to put those safety pins that i was on about earlier i'm going to put those in here and then I showed you those earrings earlier, you know those ones that I was saying that look like that dress. I'm going to take those. Then I've also got these ones which are like, get them up it, like a coral colour. They're really nice. I might take those out of the wrapper actually. Then I've also got these red ones which I think will be really nice. What was I thinking with? That outfit that's coming today, it's got the red in. I think that'll be so nice with those. And then I've also got these big big statement earrings which i'm not sure what i'm gonna wear them with yet but i just think gorge i love a statement earring those are all from sheen by the way i feel like you can really experiment when you get things from sheen because they're all just cheap you don't have to like go crazy buying like dead expensive jewelry just to try it out which i think is really good and bracelet wise i'm just gonna take these two so i've got this big thick bangle and then i've also got this one which i do like i don't really wear loads of bracelets so it'll do also going to take these two hair clips again basic basic bitch but it's fine and then i'm also going to take this one i'm actually going to take my new water bottle with this because i feel like every time i take water by the pool it gets boiling hot so i thought if i take this and it's ins insulated is that the word but like it keeps it cold i thought that that would be so much better because it will stay cold all day i'm just going to wrap it up in my towel put that in there fits perfectly in the little gap amazing i've got all of my electricals on charge so i've got my camera all my cameras charged i'm taking this disposable not disposable definitely not i'm taking my digital camera with us i just have to charge it first i'm not going to bother taking the charger because i'll only use it a little bit i'm going to take that with us in my hand luggage just because i don't really feel safe leaving it i also need to charge my kindle my headphones are on charge um what else i need to take my ipod charger that's fine so as for like me beauty bits i need to get a carrier bag to put those in because i don't feel safe just leaving them out just in case they explode um, with like the pressure but obviously got me hairbrush I'm also going to take a comb and my slick back brush i'm going to take my mark hill curler but that, they're really good because they detach so that like curl and wand bit detaches and then you can put on another one so i've got my mermaid whoop, my mermaid waver which is the best 
wave at ever. And then I'm going to take my straighteners just in case I need them. So it does save you obviously the end of the thing when you use the Mark Hill one because you do just take all of the nozzles off. I'm going to carry a bag and I'm going to put my toilet in here just to be on the safe side. So I've got a hairspray, my heat protectant, both Tresme, and then a hair oil and my gel that I use to stick my hair back. And then I've got toothpaste. Reese has got like the other half of the stuff so like I think I've got the sun cream, he's got the after sun. I think I've got the shower gel. He may have the shampoo and conditioner. He's got his own deodorant. He's, he's got a few other things so we just half it so it's easier. Sun cream, deodorant and I've actually got some mosquito um, repellent because last year I was bit quite a lot and I know that you're going to get bit regardless but I just think this might help it a little bit. We'll see. And then I've got shower cream. Yeah, so I've got the body wash. I think I've got some the shampoo and conditioner. And then my perfume. But I really, really would like, and I might treat myself tomorrow depending on how much it is, a new perfume. I'm thinking maybe, or even like body spray. Like I could use this on the night times. And then maybe get like another Sol de Janeiro, is that what it's called? Spray? We'll see. Then I've got my toothbrush, but obviously I can't go in until tomorrow, so I'll leave that there. I think that's everything for toilet bees. So I just wrap it up and then pop it there. Literally so dark. You would think it was so late and it's only quarter to three. Like it's it's pitch black. So I'm gonna be really really quick before the sun goes away, but I'm going to pack a little bit of makeup. I don't really wear loads of makeup on holiday, so I'm just going to be very, very minimal. I'm going to take this professional cleanser from Benefit. Check that. That's locked. And the Estee Lauder night cream because I won't really be putting day cream on because I'll just be putting SPF on. So I will prioritise using that on the night time. I'm going to take this palette because, to be honest, this is probably the only palette that I really go towards when I do eyeshadow. So it's the EYN Matte Palette. So when I do that, I'm going to take brushes make sure they're clean oh actually i need to take an eyeliner as well this brown eyeliner i sometimes like to put that on the waterline just to amplify if i want to go a little bit darker pencil sharpener i need to put that in as well and mascara eyelash curler not like i need it with the length of my eyelashes and the way they are but just in case and then two three spoolies just for my eyebrows and eyelashes just in case everything is just in case in my world like just in case i'll take 15 pairs of knickers like just in case max strobe cream love that i'm gonna take the peach is it called peaches pink honey pink honey bronzing cream that erin got us for my birthday because i still haven't tried it and i think holiday is perfect time because i'm not really going to be putting foundation on so i think a bronzing cream bronzer is ideal so i'm going to take that and I'm going to use this brush. I love this brush from um, Real Techniques. I probably don't even sell it anymore, but it's a sculpting brush. But it's like this dense angled brush, but I just think it's so good for putting on cream contour. Concealers. I've got my Estee Lauder one, and I've also got my cheapy Primark Sharp, Sharp? <laughs> Tarte Shape Tape dupe. Because I do like that. But my trick with this, right, is I got it a while ago, and I put it on, and I blended it in. I thought, hmm, it's a little bit like not full coverage. But I then realised that if I put it on, sit with it on for like five minutes whilst I'm doing something else, then blend it, it's so full coverage. So definitely try that. But the colour for me is a little bit too pink toned. Like I prefer like more of a, like in comparison, like that one's a lot more yellow. So I will get this again, but I'll just try and change the shade because I think that's a bit too pink for me. But I'm going to take it just in case, just in case. Under eye powder, a setting powder for my face. Pressed powder, bronzer, a glowy bronzer for my chest, a blusher, a couple of lip liners that I know I'm going to use. These are both from Primark. Love those both, like a nude lip liner. I don't think I'm going to be wearing anything other than a nude, to be honest. Got my trusty lipstick that I love that is sold out now. I don't think they're going to continue it, but it's literally like melted, if you can say that. It's awful, but I love the colour. I can't not use it. And then I've got this Peaches lip gloss i might also take this one and then just leave it there but it's a one from soap and glory which i need to re-buy because it's the best it's like a plump and lip gloss and i love it so much so i need to get that mm, i was gonna say it's about in the airport but will it be more expensive in boots 
the no. I'll have a look. I might get that. And I've also got this Pay Louise one, which is quite like a, I think it's just clear, this one. Cosmo Crush. I think it's clear. Yeah. I'll take that as well. So I can always put that on whatever. Is that everything that I'm going to take? I need to take brushes. So I've got a bronzing brush. That one. That one. Powder and then my beauty blender. I mean, I say, oh, whatever. And then look, have you seen the size of the makeup bag and how much I've got in it? Like, for being a very minimal person, there's plenty there. I feel like that is pretty much all of the packing done. I feel like I've kind of done everything and got everything that I need. Obviously I'll do like last minute bits and bobs in the morning. But tonight is hair time. It's just, it's so ready for like a refresh. Like as you can see my roots are coming in quite strong. And in my opinion it's looking a little bit dull and not very blonde. So I just feel like it needs full head of highlights to make it feel a bit fresher. But I shall take you along for that as well. Right. I am home and unfortunately my hairdresser has had to cancel my appointment because a partner split his head open which obviously you know you really really kind of predict that and that's absolutely fine that's just got to be there because she says that a and has got like four hour five hour wait. She didn't realise I was going on holiday. Next time I'll have to just make sure I book it well in advance like a few days before my holiday so if things like this happen I've got a back up but anyways my mum has just rang and she says she's going to go get us a toner or like a purple shampoo of some sort just so I can put that on and feel a little bit more fresh but I'm going to do that and I'm going to get out and cut my hair a little bit just like trim the ends maybe cut my fringe a little bit but it's okay I'm trying to look at the positives everything happens for a reason and as well obviously my roots they look really dark now I think it's because it's got dark outside but I think my roots being there makes my eyebrows look okay whereas I think if I was a fully blonde the way it would have looked it might have been a bit intense but it's okay all is good. I've got a little bit of money, so that means that I can buy myself in the airport. I'm going to get that body spray, I think, tomorrow and treat myself to that. So it all works out for the best. But that's the plan for a night. I'm just going to probably wash and dry my hair. And that'll be about it, really. Good morning. I totally forgot to close the video off yesterday and I just, like, ended it at I'm going to wash my hair, which I actually haven't done because I don't know about anybody else, but I wash my hair fresh sit on a dirty plane to feel dirty when I get off so the plan is tonight when I get off get the hotel I will be washing my hair fresh for the first day tomorrow but anyways I am ready for the airport I'm just finishing packing my bags and then I'm gonna go to Tesco to buy like some snacks and I need to get like money out and I do need to have a little look in Tesco as well to see if I can find a white swimsuit because that white swimsuit that came yesterday was too small I keep feeling like I've got something else that I'm missing and I don't know what but I feel like my case is packed I mean it's very organised but just think if I can zip this up I mean it's heavy but I don't feel like it's that heavy but anyways I'm gonna say goodbye now Thank you so much for watching as always there will be a video next week because I'll still be away on holiday I'm just gonna give myself a week to just chill out but I do hope you've enjoyed and if you do want to keep up to date with the holiday photos videos if you go follow us on TikTok and Instagram which I'll link below but other than that I'm going on holiday um but yeah thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in next week's video well two weeks video